Great here, welcome back to Factorio. So today's video is slightly different. Um, long story short, uh, in a recent video I ran out of hard drive space because I was using a codec that was making gigantic uh, uh, video files and I've got, a, I, I've got a, a very big backlog. I'm trying to work through that. But in the meantime, I am trying out a different codec and this is the first video with that completely new codec. So please let me know how it looks, how it sounds. So, with that out of the way, uh, today's video, what I'm going to focus on, I realize I've been doing a lot of, uh, a lot of things manually, and I haven't been really um, utilizing my robots to the best of their ability. Um, and what that entails is I need to get a personal RoboPort, so I'm going to start working towards that. The other thing that I need to do is um, I want to adjust this right here. Um, this this mechanic right here with the pipe is really not... I'm, I, I don't want to say that's not the best. Well, it, it, it isn't the best. Fluid mechanics in Factorio are kind of weird. And you, ch you generally don't want to do wonky stuff like, like this where all of the water is coming in and then all the water flows back out to all of the engines. So what I actually want to do is I am thinking of maybe like at the end of every one of these columns I'm going to put um, a two, two tank buffer for basically two tanks for every five engines is, is the ratio that I'm going to look for. I'm making it up as I go. So let's actually start off with that and uh, on these columns right here. So where's my fluid? So I need six tanks. Let's get the first five up and running. They require iron plate and steel plate. And I do not have the iron plate on me to do this. I could wait for my horde of well I guess that was easy okay let's make one more here and uh, they can follow me around so on the science front I'm gonna let laser turret damage 3 run out and then I'm gonna make a beeline for the personal robo port that way I can do uh, much better construction uh, let's clear out ooh, let's clear out some space here um, let's not screw up my water down there. And I think what I want to do um, is I do want to have a gap here. Uh, let's make it just a simple three. There we go. And where are my tanks? And then the tank, like such. So this should be filling up with hot water. Yep. Actually, do I have enough spacing in between for this? That's the question I should be asking. Where are my other tanks? There they are. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to drop it like this. And the fact that I put two here might have saved me on this. So this way, now the, the hot water comes in from, from this side, from the boilers. Um, and in fact, I'm going to cut this system out completely. The hot water is going to come in from the boilers. And then at night, when the solar energy kick, uh, shuts off, it should flow back the other way through the boilers. That's the idea, I think. Um, yeah, the water's still filling up. Okay. So since I'm separating those systems, um, I'll leave this system up here for the time being because this is really where I've got the bulk of my water. But let's get the, the next line up and running here. Uh, 
Yeah, that actually works quite nicely. Okay. So are you getting water? Yes, you are getting hot water in. Okay, so now um, I need to actually get... It's going to hurt for a minute. And I don't need this one. I don't want this one. There we go. Okay, so now I can put down the last pair of tanks. Where are they? I swear I made them. Okay, I didn't. There we go. Okay. So now we are. These are running off of these tanks. Um, what's our power look like? Okay, so right now I don't want to break this connection, but what I want to do is I'm going to tear down all of this, and over here I'm going to take. Uh, this idea right here and I'm basically going to chain engines off the end of it. That's what I'm planning on doing. Okay. So those construction robots are heading out to take care of that. Of the wood. The other thing that I'm going to do is I am going to frustrate my logistics robots by running faster than they can fly. Um, I'm going to set up, hmm, yeah, actually I'm not sure what I'm going to do down here. I wanted to do another, another fuel system, because wood isn't used for much of anything at this level in Factorio. I might as well just burn it to get it out of the system. But I'm not sure how I want to set up the, the priority on that just yet. So we're going to set that aside for the time being. Let's see. So, okay, we have a ton of solar. Got this. I'm just, it's been a couple days, so I'm remembering where I am on, on everything. Right, I was getting attacked to the north of my engines. Okay. And our blue science is looking good. This, yeah, this is all nice and dandy. I actually want to get... The, let's do that while I'm waiting. Um, I need two assembly machines. Um, so this is four five and I can't believe I got that set up properly there we go wait I think I might have done this wrong hold on um, where's my science packs science five six twelve Oops, give me that. Okay. So we have five, actually one of the other two on the side. So let's make one more of those. Let's get rid of this science pack. So the six I actually want, oh, want it on this side. Like so. Let's get... And... It's turning into a rat's nest, nest here. Okay, so where is our personal robo-port? That's the question. This is robot worker speed 3, uh, combat robotics, robo uh, 
Well, really? Okay. Can I do a search for... Yes, I can. Okay, so personal RoboPort. There it is. I need modules. Speed module, modular armor. Okay, modules next, which should go really quick. And I just realized I somehow need to route this up. Well, that's easy enough to do. There we go. And power, as always. This is just a, a rat's nest of power cables in here, isn't it? Well, if I put another medium here and a medium here, I can now, I should be able to get rid of these wooden poles. I think that'll work. Well, let's get rid of these while I'm at it, too. And instead get these put down. Let's see how horrible this looks once it, it gets running. I did say, you, go away. You, go away. Okay, all of these are still oper operational? Yes, they are. Okay, so... I no longer need that power pole. Don't need that one. Really, this is the only one that's kind of out of sorts. I don't, oh wait, I don't need this one anymore. Uh, this one can actually go here. Do I need this one anymore? Looks like no. So, that looks a little bit better. Oh, I don't need this this power cable. Right. I didn't mean to do it that way. Get out of my inventory. Uh, oh, I've got one here that is not powered, and it's because of this. Hmm. Well, that's frustrating, isn't it? There we go. And we will just route it down like that because that makes it all better. Okay, so somehow I need to get 12 of these to get the ratio working. And obviously I could use extend this line a heck of a lot more um, if I get all of my assembly machines up and running. So this will probably be the next project right here, um, extending this out. I don't know if I could support 12 here, but it will definitely be nice if I could. Well, I'm here. Might as well do it, right? Okay. So this is what, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's get my assembly machine started up. I mean, it should just be a simple matter of, of lining up six more of these. Let's try this again. There. Uh, no. Yes, there we go. Okay, so this will need to go one further south. And I will need... Okay, I see. Inserters, like so. Now I need a bunch of reds... Uh, no, I need one more of that, and then I'm going to need six red... In, uh, red Red inserters, long handed inserters. So there's those six. There we go. 
Okay, and where's my long-handed inserters? This needs to go one further up. There we go. Okay, so all of these should be now making science. I don't want those on me right now. Um, bullet production is going to have to move. And actually, on this one, I'm going to delete it that way. Yeah, this I'm actually just going to get rid of like that. Don't need the split anymore. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is so it puts the bullets into the network instead of into my inventory and then have them run out. And I'm using the construction robots to do that. So while they're doing that, I need to get blue science over and on this side of the belt. So what I can do is I will do a underground belt from here to there. And then there we go. Here, here, and there. And then this can just merge in on that side of the belt. That way, the purple, which I think I can squeeze in here. Yes, I can. It's almost like I planned that, which I definitely did not. Um, there we go. This will be purple science, which, well, okay. It will be purple science eventually. Okay, so ratio of green to red is correct. The ratio of blue is correct. I have pretty much everything in here. The slowest part of this is actually this re uh, requester chest right here, which it should be able to keep up. Yeah, it looks like it, it well, the more logistics robots that I have, the more that throughput will go through. I mean, I could... Yeah, I can't squirrel it back. Unless I went across the top. And all the way over. But... It would be difficult to get onto the line at this point. So I think this is the the best idea that I, that I have right now. And it... I can always have a higher... A higher stock here. Oh. Whoops. Modules completed a while ago, and I didn't even see it. Okay. So I want to get to modular armor. So I need speed module first. There you go. I didn't even see what the research on the speed module was. Speed module, 50 red and, and green. That'll get knocked out really, really quick. Okay. I need to start making bullets again. So, what I'm going to do is actually, on this side of the bus, I'm going to recreate my bullet production. And I'm actually going to make bullets, piercing rounds, and shotgun shells. So I need to bring up iron plate, copper plate, steel plate, and, well, those are the three. So I need two iron, five copper, one steel. So, a line of copper, and I'll make a hybrid of iron and steel, it looks like. Uh, let me double check that. Copper, copper. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically going to need all three. And copper is the one that's used the most. So, let's actually have... I uh, can't do it there. So, let's do a double line, input line here. And we will have three assembly machines. You will be normal bullets. 
There's my normal bullets. There we are. You will be red bullets, and you will be shotgun shells. I need passive provider chests for the output. There we go. Why can I only make five of those at a time? Uh, probably because I'm low in steel, that's why. Okay, that's fine. So here, here, and here. There, there, and there. And actually, I want to get rid of these. Yeah, so I'm doing everything all over again because I just realized I uh, put it too close to the bus. So here, here, and here. And yeah, I, I also want to route them right back down. Speed modules finished. Yay. Module armor, please and thank you. 100 red and green. Okay, so you are going to be regular bullets. You are going to be red bullets, and you are going to be shotgun shells. Um, okay. So. Nope. Reverse those. Those go out there. That goes there. This goes there. I need... Um, just turn this in. No, I can't turn that in. Leave that straight, and I need a long-handed inserter for this input. There we go. And now we can hook up our power here and here. Now, how do I want this output? Actually, I don't want this one output here. This one I'm going to have output here. Because I want everything as close to the path as possible. And this one we will limit to the one row. Then this one... Okay, so chest. Uh, why did I make it? It's right there. Okay, chest to an inserter. This is going to be my red, which I'm also going to limit to one row. And this will be right outside the power range, of course. And I make another one because it's on my belt. There we go. Okay, and that will be. The shotgun shells, which I will limit to four. And the reason for that is I don't think there's a shotgun turret where the yellow and the red can be used in turrets. So I need one more power over here. Okay. Nice little redundance uh, connection there. And now I just need to get my inputs up. Um... Wait a minute. No, I need two more. Ugh. Wait. You need... Yeah, you need both. You need... You're going to need both, so you need a long-handed inserter. And you just need iron. So I want to put the copper on the outside, the iron and the steel on the inside. So the copper... Let's break this out here. Oh, perfect. And now I need to...
make a break here. I'm just going to break these. There we go. And this will be... Like so. Now I need to bring my steel down. This would be the better... Line to cut. And in fact, this should be like so. Yeah, okay. So then I need to get this onto. How? Oh, how am I going to get this? Oh, uh, I see how I'm going to do this. Okay. So I will have... Steel needs to get there. I will have the merged line there. Like so. Okay. So steel needs to get here. Which means... There. Okay. Modular armor. Where is my... Portable solar, uh, solar panel is next. Please and thank you. And this... Feed up here. There's my steel onto that line. And I want to see... I'm not too concerned about the crafting speed on all of these. Yeah, this is fine. The inserter inserter bone uh, or the inserter um, stack size is really helping here. So yeah, it looks like I now have ammo production sorted. Good deal. And I completely forgot to go over and redo my power while I was in the middle of the day. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the quality is fine. Please do let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and have fun.